Yeah, there's there's two different sides to to, to IT as well. Um, there's uh, traditional IT um, where we think of when we go into the office and we use Microsoft Word and we use you know our email applications and we use Teams to talk to each other. There's that side of things. Um, and then there's operational technology. Um, and we've seen that a lot during COVID, actually, that, you know, there's been some emphasis put back in our operational technology. So who keeps the lights on? Um, in fact, at the time of speaking, Texas at the moment is going through a massive um, event where they're unable to um, get electricity into their hospitals because of, you know, a natural disaster. Um, that type of technology is totally different. Um, we're going to see, and we have already started seeing, people trying to attack those types of systems, operational technology. Um, only a couple of weeks ago, it hit the news that there was, um, I think it was a water treatment plant in Florida had been hacked into, and some of the values had been changed to put more chemicals into the water that could have been potentially you know, dangerous and you know, put people's lives at risk. Um, and we're going to see a lot more of that. We've seen hacks on power grids. We've seen hacks on... Um, different types of, you know, operational machinery. We've seen hacks on cars as well. Um, that type of technology um, is going to be probably high, highly regulated. We're going to see a lot of regulation around it. Um, we're going to see a lot of different standards that these companies need to meet. Um, and we need to be um, prepared for that as businesses as well to, to meet that standard, to meet the different regulations that are going to be put in place.